Hi students, welcome back. So far you have studied about the static SQL queries, running the static SQL queries by using JDBC programs. So far you have seen about how to create a student table by using JDBC program. Okay, and how to insert uh, data into a table, uh, sing, uh, single insertion and the, you have seen the multiple insertions also and how to retrieve the data from database by using the select command and update uh, the student table based on the values given and the deleting the stud, uh, row, uh, uh, a row from the stud table by using the some constraint. So these are all the static values. So far we had discussed about the static SQL queries. Then now we will work on the dynamic SQL queries. So the dynamic SQL queries like insert student values. I don't know what, what you are inserting because this is a dynamic strategy. So many people that are there in the online. So they want to enter the registrations form. So what the values they are giving, I don't know. So that's why it's a question mark insert into student values question mark suppose if you want to update any student data you don't know what uh, the the customer or the uh, the user is trying to update okay either they want to update like their name their address you don't know okay and what address they are giving also you don't know so that's why update student set marks just you don't know what marks they are setting and what is their role number also you don't know so in that case, we have to call the command like to update student set marks is equal to question mark where role number is equal to question mark. Okay, so that type of queries, we call it as a dynamic queries. Okay, dynamic queries. In the same way, for delete from student where role number, you don't know. So just keep the question mark. Select star from, star from student where role number is equal to question mark. For example, so you all know the registration forms, registration form. Uh, so this, this is like form, it's a static way. So uh, first name, last name, phone number, ID. So each and every person is trying to enter their names, their phone number and ID. Whenever they submit, click on the submit, it passing dynamic query. Okay, it is a dynamic. So it is everything passing dynamically. So so we need to keep a question marks because you don't know the answer. So you have you need to keep the question mark to execute the dynamic queries. To execute dynamic SQL queries, we have to use prepared statement is required. Prepared statement is required. It is required so what is this preparation let me tell you uh, let me take the task java application it's a java application java application is requesting sql query sql request okay so which is present on the database okay suppose it has to give the response to the java application so for that so whenever the request is a student table a student table a student table contains the role number name and the marks student table contains role number name marks 1 2 3 a a a b b b c c okay and the marks something uh, like these are the marks okay so so what we have to do is our task is so data uh, whatever the request is given so that has to be updated in SQL response has to be given. So in the command prompt, you will write the program everything. So where we have to enter the data, we are giving only the question marks. So the data has to be entered and the command prompt Java. Okay, suppose insert demo is a class name insert demo. Just whatever the values that you want to enter. Suppose I want to enter a four. Okay, fourth, fourth row, uh, row number four. I want to insert data on fourth column. Okay, so insert four D, 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 something like uh, 95. Okay, so this is an index 0, 1, 2. Here, this is an index. This is 0, 1, 2 is index. And here, this is a column name. 1, 2, 3 is a column name. Okay, this 0, 1, 2 is the index. So then 
whenever you enter the data here it is going to it is calling in the statement insert into student values so you are given the question mark right in, in, in the program, instead of mentioning, you are just giving the question mark. So, whatever data you are entering at the command prompt, that will be copied here. That will be copied here. So, this is nothing but argument 0. Arguments 0. Okay. This is nothing but argument 1. And this is nothing but argument 2. Ox 1. Ox 2. You are calling in the public static void main. So, string orgs you are calling, right? So, this is argument 0, this is argument 1 and this is argument 2. These are the column numbers. 1, 2, 3. These are the column numbers. 1, 2, 3 is a column number and 0, 1, 2 are the indexes. So, whatever the data you are entering, so that will be inserted here. By calling this method org 0, org 1, org 2. Okay, then the data will be inserted. D, 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 95. This is the data. Okay. So, in this way, uh, this dynamic SQL queries are going to be executed. So, for that, I said a prepared statement is required, right? A prepared statement is required. So, open the command prompt, call the Java P tool, Java, type Java P. Java is a package name, java.sql sub package. Dot prepared statement is a class name. So, under this, you will get so many methods. So, in that, I am just selecting because I want to insert the data or retrieve the data. So, which are relating to the column names, integer, float, string. Okay. Public act, abstract void, set int. So, in comma int, it throws SQL exception. So, the method set float, in comma float, throws SQL exception. Set string, in comma string, throws SQL exception. These above all methods, whatever here, what is the use of these methods? It are used to fill the data. You want, if you want to fill the data in the table, that is, if you want to insert the data on the data table, okay, in the database table, you have to call these methods. These methods are present under the prepared statement. So, that's why you have to use this class name. So, and some more methods. Boolean execute, which throws SQL, uh, SQL exception and in execute update. So, for inserting data, we will call the method execute update. Okay. And if you want to retrieve the data, we have to call the execute query. This return type is the result set. And execute update return type is the integer execute update integer and the execute update return type is a result set okay execute query is for retrieving data like select and this is for insert and this is for create if you want to create the table you have to call the execute method okay and if if the table is present it throws false the table is already exi uh, exist if the table is not there then it returns true so that's why we have written type is boolean here it returns true or false boolean and execute update for inserting integer and execute query uh, that is for selecting the it is present in result set okay so now uh, in the next video i am using these methods what, whatever that are present in the prepared statement to insert data by using dynamic SQL query. So, we will see uh, on IGE, Eclipse ID, how to write a program to insert data by using dynamic SQL query. Okay. So, that we will see in the next video. Thank you.